Hey everyone, in this short new tutorial video I will show you how to install Docker and Docker Compose on Raspberry Pi um, using either Raspbian or Raspberry Pi OS or maybe even Ubuntu server. I mean, I uh, created this video especially for those people who are struggling with this because um, yeah, normally it should be easy but there are sometimes complications. Anyway, before we begin, if you're new to the channel, my name is Laszlo Merza and this channel deals with home automation, home networking and sometimes with related stuff like DIY electronics. So, let's get on with the tutorial. So, as I said, it's normally pretty simple. So you can go either by installing Docker via package manager, which comes with Ubuntu, or via the instructions provided by the Docker team. Anyway, when you have a fresh installation of Ubuntu and you try to run the command docker, this is what happens. So as you can see, it offers you two choices uh, based on your uh, preference regarding the package manager. So you can either go with snap or with apt. Now, my preference is clearly apt. And uh, the why behind this preference, well, it works, uh, it works actually a separate video, so let's not go into details right now. But uh, here's a caveat. If you check the version numbers here, uh, you can see that the version number uh, listed for apt is somewhat older, and also this postfix 0 Ubuntu 1 uh, 20 whatever means that this build is specific to Ubuntu. So this package version is maintained by uh, canonical, the maintainers of Ubuntu, and not by the Docker team. Also, it's slightly different. The package uh, is named docker.io, and some people say that this package is uh, outdated. No, it's actually not outdated. Canonical keeps updating it. It just lags behind by a few minor versions uh, compared to the uh, official Docker package. Sadly, the official Docker package uh, can be installed with Snap, which, as I said, is not my uh, cup of tea. So anyway, let's do a quick installation via apt uh, using docker.io package. Then we will go with the instructions provided by the Docker team. So in this case, your uh, job is pretty simple. You just issue this command. So sudo apt install docker.io. And there we go. Normally, this downloads all the dependencies that are needed. So after that, you will be able to start Docker containers right away. Uh, there's actually one small tweak I usually do. That is uh, adding my current user to the Docker group, which means that uh, my current user will be able to run Docker commands without, without typing sudo every time. So that's just convenience. But anyway, let's wait for this uh, installation to finish. Okay, so the installation has finished successfully and now we can try the command docker. As I said, uh, the command itself should work, but uh, you won't be able to do anything with it unless you add your user to the Docker group. This is just a layer of extra security, so users can't uh, mix up or mess up stuff uh, with Docker if they are not intent to use Docker. But our user does, so let's just do it. The command is simple. You type sudo, then user mode, as in modifying the user, then dash ag, we are uh, modifying its uh, additional group so then docker and then the username which is ubuntu here boom there we go and now we still can use the docker command but we will now be able to actually use it and if you encounter this error message it means that uh, after changing the group the user have to relog in i always tend to forget that but let's do it after relogging with your user, you will be able to issue uh, Docker commands. Let's try again. Docker PS, by the way, shows the running containers. 
we don't have any, but at least we won't encounter a problem anymore. So we have a working Docker in installation. Now let's scrap this installation and let me show you how you install Docker with uh, the instructions coming from the Docker team, which is slightly different. Oh, by the way, let's see the version numbers before we uninstall this. Oops, sorry, just docker version and it says, yeah, this is the actual version number we have seen when uh, Ubuntu offered us the two package managers. So there we go. We remove this with uh, sudo apt remove docker.io. There we go. Okay, Docker in itself is uninstalled, then we just remove the additional dependencies. So sudo apt auto remove, which cleans up after our installation. Yeah, it will uh, get us some free space on the Raspberry Pi. Okay, so we have cleaned up. We don't have Docker anymore in this Raspberry Pi. Now let's see the other instructions. So, First, we need to issue a shell command, surprisingly, and it is this. So curl is just a command line tool that we can use to grab something from the web. Uh, this time we are grabbing a script, a shell script that is uh, right under this URL. And uh, with the pipe, we are forwarding it to the shell for execution. So this is like a one-liner install script. Let's execute this. So after a few minutes, uh, the script is done, finished installing, and also tells us that uh, we can add our user uh, to the Docker group for convenience, but uh, yeah, it can be exploited because uh, whoever accesses that user can run uh, containers that can contain malicious code and whatnot. Oh, and by the way, I just realized that I was wearing, wearing a headset for no apparent reason. But anyway, let's continue. So we have Docker running uh, either way, and now we need to install Docker Compose. So, uh, but uh, a lot of people don't know that uh, Docker Compose is actually a set of uh, Python scripts. So there are many ways to install it. Um, let's follow um, instructions which uh, expose a little bit of this uh, uh, Python word for us. Don't worry, you don't need to be a Python programmer. We will just need to install some Python dependencies and whatnot. So a couple of uh, shell commands once again. Then uh, let me copy those from my notes. So I will put these into the description so you don't have to uh, copy from the screen. In previous videos I tend to forget that and sorry for that. Um, yeah, bad habits. Anyway, uh, let's wait for this to finish. Uh, it finished, then a second set of uh, uh, Python related stuff to be installed. Actually, this won't be really needed or uh, will be probably unnecessary for you because uh, uh, Ubuntu comes with Python 3 installed by default. So it will just uh, install some additional packages and uh, refresh a couple of new ones and hopefully it will finish soon. So second comment finished and we have the last one. Basically we will just uh, uninstall a problematic dependency which uh, gets uh, installed and this one actually causes uh, Docker Compose to fail. So we just get rid of this. Actually Okay, cool. So apparently uh, in the recent versions it won't get installed. So actually you can skip this. If you run into problems um, with Docker Compose, you can try this command. So get rid of this uh, Python config parser package. This is actually pretty cool. 
Then finally, we use the last command to install uh, Docker Compose itself. Okay, so the installation uh, command has finished and now we need to try whether we can actually use docker compose so docker compose here goes nothing and voila so we have it it's running and uh, yeah obviously you will need a docker compose file and whatnot so this is it time to wrap up this video I originally meant this as a short tutorial, but uh, due to those uh, different package managers and whatnot, it ended up a bit longer than I expected. I uh, hope you don't mind. Anyway, uh, for those people who had problems with installing Docker and Docker Compose, uh, I really hope this helped and uh, solved their problems. If not, you can still use the comment section and uh, try to ask for help. I will try to help the best way I can. And um, yeah. What else? Uh, thanks for watching the video and hope to see you next week, next time with a new video. Bye! You're still here. That's good because that means you kinda like my video. If so, feel free to check out these other videos too. And uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. That helps me a lot. And uh, yeah, if you click the bell button, you will get also notified about new videos.